All right, so if you really want to understand algebra, well, then you must understand these formulas right here. And what we're talking about is graphing lines and finding the equation of lines. Now, my little question here is which uh, is the best formula for working with lines or linear equations in algebra? Well, hopefully you recognize both of these formulas. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and just uh, quickly tell you what they are. So y equals mx plus b. This is known as the slope-intercept formula, uh, probably one of the most common uh, formulas that you will use in algebra uh, amongst other formulas. But this other formula right here is called the point-slope formula, and uh, both of these formulas have something to do with lines. Now, let me go ahead down here and quickly uh, give you a sense of what I'm going to be talking about here in just one second. We're going to walk through a couple quick examples. But in algebra, there is a lot of skills that you must understand. But two critical skills that you must understand is how to graph a line or a linear equation. So for example, if I give you y equals 2x plus 1, you should understand to uh, take this linear equation and you can graph it by coming right here. This is the y-intercept and then our slope is 2. So that's 2 over 1. Now I'm not really explaining this, but hopefully you kind of understand what I'm doing. So graphing a linear equation. So given a linear equation, you can produce the graph. Okay, so that is one primary skill. And this is where you really are introduced to y equals mx plus b or the slope intercept uh, form. Now, there is another uh, uh, critical skill in algebra that has to deal with lines and linear equations. And uh, I call this FEL, or find the equation of the line. Now, uh, you know, oftentimes a problem might say, write the equation of the line or uh, find the linear equation. So this is uh, an example of how a problem uh, may work. Okay, so here is a line. Now let's suppose we want to find the linear equation of this line. So let's say this slope is maybe two and uh, this line uh, passes through this point right here on the y-axis, so maybe that's one. So what we want to do is find the equation of this line or find the linear equation, and typically that's in y equals mx plus b form. So in order to do that, you basically have two options. You can use um, this formula, y equals mx plus b, which again is the slope-intercept formula, or you can use this formula right here, which is called the point-slope formula. So which of these is the best? Well, actually, uh, you want to know both of these. And depending on the situation at hand, you know, one formula is better to use than the other. So what I want to show you here in just one second is a couple of examples on both of these formulas. This is absolutely critical for those of you that need to understand algebra. But uh, anyways, uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Now, let's go down here and take uh, one more look at these equations. And again, if you are studying algebra, any level of algebra to include pre-algebra, so pre-algebra, algebra 1, algebra 2, college algebra, doesn't make a difference, you must absolutely understand uh, these formulas. And what I'm going to show you right now is some examples of how to work with these formulas. All right, so find the equation of a line. Let's take a look at this first problem. So we want to find the equation of a line. Now, this here is just a little abbreviation. When I'm saying find the equation of a line, typically we're looking for the y equals mx plus b form of the line, the slope-intercept form of the line, okay? So to answer this question, we're going to take, these are two separate questions. To answer these questions, you can use both formulas, okay? So to find the equation of a line, you can do all your problems using this formula, Okay, the slope-intercept formula. And let's just go ahead and define something. Why do we call this the slope-intercept formula? Well, the M is the slope. Y equals M. M is the slope. And the B here is the Y-intercept. Okay, this is the Y-intercept. Uh, we just call it, that's a B. It's not a, a, a 6. It looks kind of like a 6. But that's the Y-intercept of a line. So here, 
Here's the x-axis and here is the y-axis. If we have a line that's chopping, uh, like going like this, this point here that's crossing the y-axis, that's the y-intercept, okay? All right, so again, I really wanna break this down thoroughly for you. So if any of you have been confused about this, you will not be confused by the time I'm done with this little video. All right, so this is a slope intercept form of the line. Again, slope and y-intercept, or we just refer to it as the intercept. Now, again, you can find the answer to the, uh, finding the equation to a line, you can use this formula all day long, okay? Now, for some problems, you wanna use this formula, and I'm gonna get to this in a second, but I'm gonna tell you right now, the preferred formula to answer finding the equation of lines, I want you to think of um, using the point slope formula. So I'm going to do a problem uh, using uh, the slope intercept form. We're actually going to talk about these problems here in a second, but we'll, I'm going to go over how we do, um, how we answer these questions using both formulas. Okay, but you have to be kind of smart about this. So let's take a look at this first question. Let's find the equation of line with a slope of two and a y-intercept of five. So given these two formulas, okay, now I haven't even showed you how to use these formulas, which uh, formula would, would, you, would we choose, okay? Well, the obvious answer would be this one, okay? Because to get the right answer for this uh, formula, all I need is the uh, slope and the y-intercept. Here I have the slope and I have the y-intercept. So what's the equation of a line that has a slope of two and a y-intercept of five? Well, you just go right over here. It's like as easy as this. Y equals, well, the slope here is gonna be two. Then I have x plus my y-intercept, that's my b is five, okay? So right here is the equation, y equals two x plus five is the um, linear equation or the equation of a line that has a slope of two, okay? And a y-intercept of five, it's like one, two, three, okay? Now I could do, I could have answered this question by using this formula, but that wouldn't be smart, okay? So you need to know both formulas and that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm trying to compare and contrast these formulas for you. All right, so um, anytime you're asked to find the equation of a line where you're given the slope and the y-intercept, always use the slope-intercept form. It's just the, the most direct way to answer the question. Okay, now let's take a look at this problem here. Uh, we have a slope of two and we have uh, the point three five. Okay, in other words, we have a line we want to find the equation of a line that has a slope of two and passes through the point three, five. To kind of visualize this, uh, visualize this, let me see if I can kind of graph this. Here's the x-axis, here's the y-axis. So the point three, five might be like right here. Uh, let's say this is three, five, and our line has a slope of two. So it might be something like this. Okay, so here is our line. It has a slope of two. Okay, and it passes to the point three, five. We wanna find the equation, the linear equation, and the linear equation will always be expressed in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b form, okay? So our final answer, typically we wanna express it in this form, but that doesn't mean we always use, like we're gonna use this formula. We're just gonna write our final answer in this form, okay? So, so these type of questions, when you're not given the y-intercept, I would strongly uh, suggest you use the point slope formula, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at um, doing this problem both ways, okay? We're gonna use both forms, okay? Uh, so here, y equals mx plus b is the what? That's the slope intercept uh, form of a line, okay, or formula. So let's go ahead and answer this question. So here, it, uh, the question is, find the equation of the line of a slope of, uh, the, of a line that has a slope of two, okay? So to use this formula right here, I need to have the slope M, I have that right here, um, and I need the B, the y-intercept. I do not have that. What I have is one point. Remember, to find the equation of a line, you need two pieces of information. You need the uh, slope, and you need at least one point on that line. So I have a point that's three, five. So this point, this x, this is an x-y order pair, okay? So this is x and this is y. So my x is gonna be three and my y is gonna be five. So when it comes to this form, I have this, but I don't have this. And what you need to um, uh, get an, uh, a um, line in slope-intercept form 
is the slope and the y-intercept. So I have the slope, but I don't have my b or y-intercept, so I need to solve for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you how we do that right now. So we have y equals mx plus b. So y is what? We're going to use this y right here, which is 5. Okay, we're going to plug that 5 in. m is 2. That's my slope. x is what? Well, that would be my 3. Okay, and then I don't have my b. So I have all my information, everything except for my b. So now I can solve for b. So 5 is going to be equal to 2 times 3 is 6 plus b. And then when I solve for b, b is equal to negative 1. It simply subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. Be careful with your positive and negative numbers. So I have b is equal to negative 1. That's all I need. Okay, I have my m. My m is equal to 2. So my y equals mx plus b. Okay, m was already 2, so I'm going to plug that 2 right there. And b I just solved for, that's negative 1. And there you go. This is the answer, y equals 2x plus negative 1. And by the way, if you uh, knew this already, you're like, yes, I could do this problem. Well, let me go ahead and give you a nice little happy face for being an excellent algebra student. So this is one approach, and this is not a bad approach, okay? Uh, but what I'm telling you is that you need to know how to um, answer the same question using the point slope formula. So that's what I'm um, going to show you right now. And for those problems, again, that give you the slope and a point that's other than the y-intercept, I would strongly suggest you use the point slope formula. So here is the point slope formula. Let's go ahead and just uh, quickly take a look at what we need to plug in. Okay, so we have y minus y1. This is a value we need to plug in. It's a y1, okay, or just a y-coordinate. Here is our slope. We need to plug that in, and then we need to plug in right here for x. So this y1 and x1, remember, we're talking about a coordinate. We're going to do the same problem here, okay, we're just using uh, the point-slope formula. The, when you're given a, a point, like, hey, the uh, line passes through the point 3, 5, always remember these are a, a, what we call an ordered pair. The first number is x. The second number is y, okay? It's a pair of numbers, and there's a specific order, x and then y. Okay, so in this case right here, y1, are, that's just our y. That's our 5. This x1 is our 3 right there. Okay, then of course m, we're given to as 2. So now we just go ahead and just plug things in uh, directly. So y1, okay, is our y value, which of course is 5. So you can see I'm plugging it in. m, I'm given the slope of m, that's 2. So I put parentheses x minus um, x1 is what? My x value right here for my point. So that's 3. Okay, so at this time, I just need to do this algebra. So first things first, 2 times x minus 3. What you want to do is a distributive property. So that would be 2 times x. That's 2x. And then 2 times this negative 3 is negative 6. So we have y minus 5 is equal to 2x minus 6. We want to solve for y. I'm going to add 5 to both sides of the equation. And here is what I get. Okay, I get y equals 2x minus 1, that is the same as y equals 2x plus a negative 1. Because remember right here, uh, you might be saying, no, those are different. No, no, you can just say y equals 2x, you can turn this into a plus negative. Okay, so y equals 2x uh, minus 1 or 2x plus negative 1. These are equivalent, okay? But I'm telling you from experience, all right, most students, when they get super good with that point slope formula, it's generally, uh, it's my recommendation that you use this uh, as like your plan A, okay? When you're answering these type of questions, find the equation of the line. I will uh, always kind of recommend that students go with the point slope formula. They just typically tend to do um, better with it in terms of getting your uh, answer. But let's take a look at our final answer here. Y equals 2X plus negative 1. Look at what uh, form our answer is. Even though we use the point slope form, our answer is in y equals mx plus b form or slope intercept form.